I would like to talk about refining your diet, personalizing what you eat, adjusting your diet. Here's an example. White rice. Let's say you eat white rice and it constipates you. It's supposed to constipate you. It's a cure for diarrhea. Let's say you eat brown rice and it gives you diarrhea. Okay, so take the white rice and mix it with the brown rice and it'll be just right. Let's say you think this food is, is boring. I don't like to use the word boring. It sounds so ungrateful. Anyway, I'll show you what to do. Wait, I'll get it out of the freezer. Right here. Have you ever been to a buffet restaurant and, and there's the salad bar? and they have peas there for you to add to your, to your salad. Those peas aren't cooked. You don't have to cook them. I'll show you what to do. You just add it to your rice. Ooh. Whoa. Peas are naturally sweet, so they'll add flavor to your rice. And you might be thinking, but they're frozen. I think if you leave it there for maybe five to, to seven minutes in a pot of hot rice that you just made, that it's going to defrost and it's going to taste perfect. I have this uh, habit of closing bags with uh, closed pins. I got that habit from a relative. Anyway. I put too many in there. I'm going to put it in the uh, in the brown rice. Anyway, so you just stir these up, you know, get it mixed in with the uh, hot rice, and leave it there a few minutes. Now, to me, the most wonderful thing in the world to eat with rice is tahini, which is ground sesame seed and soy sauce. This was like the typical health food wonderful meal back in the late 60s, early 70s. Rice with tahini and tamari, sesame sauce, and soy sauce. And of course, they used to put some vegetables like broccoli in that dish. And as a side dish, they would have hijiki, which is a black colored seaweed that tastes wonderful and it's super salty. And, uh, well, those were the days. Anyway, um, whatever is not running perfectly in your body, think about it. If you think you have an underlying medical condition, go, go to a doctor. No, you don't have to pay uh, one of those uh, $350 for 15-minute doctors or clinics. There are sliding scale health clinics in almost any community, maybe every community. And um, besides that, um, there, there's all kinds of uh, information online. Of course, go to a reputable website, you know, something that's affiliated with a hospital or a university or a National Health Service or the National Institutes of Health, something like that. And, and also elimination diets. Uh, if you think something might be making you not feel normal, then eliminate it for like a week and see if you feel better. For years, I've been thinking that I have a gluten problem because it, it gave me a bad taste in my mouth and it made my body smell bad and my urine smell bad. And now I'm thinking that maybe it wasn't the gluten, maybe it was just a general excess of carbohydrates. Anyway, I'm experimenting with, with that now. Uh, you know your body better than anyone, but you have to think about it. You have to experiment. 
And don't hesitate to get a professional opinion. They studied so many years. It's wonderful what they know. Any questions, ask me.